Welcome to Purple Bandidos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Light Platinum. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we made it here to Central City, and we obtained our starter Pokemon, Roku the Charmander. In today's episode, we're actually going to explore a couple areas, a couple different places. I've took all the suggestions that you guys have given me, and one of them was that in this house there is an amulet coin, so I have gone ahead and took that really quickly. You know, guys, thanks for all your support. You guys left me a lot of really great comments, a lot of support. You know, it means a lot to me that you guys are going to be helping me along this journey. And I'm just really excited that we're going to get to play through this game together. Make sure you guys give this video a like. It really helps the series. And, you know, we can keep it going. Right here, we talk to this guy and he offers us a Growlithe. Now, I am not going to go ahead and take this Growlithe. If you guys want him for your team, if you started with another Pokemon that isn't Charmander, you know, Growlithe is a really strong fire type. You should definitely get him, add him to your team. What I've learned from what you guys told me is that there are going to be a lot of different Pokemon offered to us throughout this adventure so there's gonna be you know a lot of them coming at us it's gonna be a, a lot to take in at once there's so many that just get handed to you that the game kind of wants you to take that are hidden away here and there so to build a strong team there's a lot that's gonna go into it because of the amount of Pokemon we can catch and we can obtain from other people now one of the things that I actually didn't get correct last episode was the fact that they are Pokemon from gen 1 through 5 not Gen 1 through 4, so that was my mistake. I don't know, blonde moment. You know, it went right over my head. But yes, it's Pokemon from Gens 1 through 5, like you guys told me. So there is going to be a bunch of different Pokemon, and it's going to get pretty crazy and pretty hectic with the amount of team combinations that we can come up with. I do have some slight combinations that I think we can do. As I mentioned to you guys, I think it would be cool to have a bigger team for once. You know, it could be up to maybe... 10 to 12 Pokemon, just a different bunch of Pokemon that we could cycle through because of the amount of Pokemon that are across this game. And you never know what kind of challenges we're going to come in, you know, for. You don't know what's going to come at us. So there might be a better option if we just go ahead by, you know, adding more Pokemon to our team and just doing that here and there. I think that would be pretty solid. So with that, we gained a couple levels. Roku is getting very close to evolving too. Let's just go ahead and finish off this Spearow. We are on our way to Marfini Lake because that is where Professor Oak is going to be. That is what Professor Jasmine told us. And that's who we're searching for in today's episode. Thanks for the battle there, lady. And we are going to continue continue on to Marfini Lake. I like these areas a little bit. They look a little bit different, so it's kind of cool. But whoa, I think I know who that is over there. Uh, whoa, okay. That was unexpected. Seagold, Feebaster, and Season. They appear by the thousands. At this time of year, although they are brave, they rarely attack people and rarely appear at other times. Very interesting, Professor. Thanks for the tip. I think I'll try to catch one. Wow, amazing, Professor. I fall in love with these Pokemon. I'll catch one right now. Go, Pokeball. Wow, I captured a Feebas. It looks like a good Pokemon. What? What? This Feebas is attacking me. Somebody save me. All right, guys. So a vicious Feebas seems to be attacking Professor Oak. You know what? All right. I, I, I understand how menacing this Feebas look. I'm going to take on this challenge. This might be the strongest Pokemon we have ever faced in any of our adventures, guys. This is a level 3 female Feebas. This is about as dangerous as it gets. You guys thought Arceus was bad. Giratina was bad. This is one of the most dangerous Pokemon in this game. And I'm just messing with you guys. But we are going to go ahead and actually catch the Feebas. A lot of you guys told me that you would want to see this Pokemon on our team. So with that, Feebas was caught, and it's going to be the first addition to our team, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nickname. Feebas is the fish Pokemon. Fins are ragged and tattered from the start of its life because of its shoddy appearance. It is capable of living in both the sea and in rivers. So let's go ahead and give this Feebas a nickname then. This is a little bit of a nickname I guess I've been thinking about. I've been kind of taking in. You know how Feebas can live in rivers. So we're going to go ahead and call this Pokemon something really witty. Verse. There you go. With that, Verse has been added to the team. Thank you. It's, it's Rodri. Professor Jasmine asked me to tell you she's doing re important research on the creation of the universe and needs your help. She wants to show you her results. She's in her lab in Yellowtown. Thank you, Rodri. I'll head there right away. Oh, this is my assistant, Gold. Nice to meet you, Rodri. You look like a skilled Pokemon trainer. I hope I'll face you myself someday. I'll say the same thing to you. Well, I'll be on my way now. Thanks, Rodri. Goodbye. See you later, Professor Oak, you creepy dude. All right, well, 
We saved Professor Oak from the, you know, evil Feebass that was running around. That thing was absolutely terrifying. You know, I don't think I've ever felt so scared against a Pokemon in my life. That thing was absolutely horrendous. I hope you guys don't have to go up against a Pokemon that terrifying ever again. It's, you know, it's numbness and it's expression. It's emotionless expressions. It just was terrifying. I don't know. I hope that was the most challenging Pokemon we'll ever go up against. Because if it gets scarier than that... I don't know if we'll be able to deal with that, guys. I don't know if I'll be able to handle that, you know? Also, where the heck do I get the running boots in this game? I keep trying to figure it out, and I can't find them. I really don't want to miss that, and I hope we get them soon, because it gets a little annoying having to walk around the whole time. I can't get into this picture thing. Oh, well, as you can see, I just obtained TMO1 Focus Punch. That was another suggestion from you guys, so thanks so much. I'm actually very surprised the amount of you guys who have actually played this game before. I guess this hack has been out for a while, so it's something that probably more people than I expected, you know, have played. But it's kind of cool that you guys will be helping me along another blind Let's Play and another journey. It's always great when you guys have more experience than me, because it makes it so much easier on me to play through a game. It's like, yeah! All right, I know I'm going to have some help if I get stuck, or if I do something wrong, I know I'm going to get a lot of blame. So, I'm just joking. All right, let's keep on going. We're going to make our way back to our hometown, actually, because that's where Professor Oak was headed, and I believe that's where we need to go to. I've also been told by you guys that there's going to be a lot of starter Pokemon that we will have the chance to add to our team now i'm not sure if i will be adding other starter pokemon to our team i will probably be showing the location of where you can get them or if the game forces us to add a pokemon to our team then you know i will probably do that but other than that i think i'm pretty satisfied with having roku as our starter i think it is great that you can have other starters and if that's what you're trying to base your team on maybe doing a full team of starters since you know there's five gens you can get five starters probably in this game but, you know, personally, I think I'm just going to try to mix it up a little bit and have a more diverse team. Kind of use Pokemon that I haven't really had the chance to use before. For example, Feebas. I haven't really used the Charmander. And it's going to be, you know, kind of something like that. I'm trying to mix it up and get a good, you know, mix of Pokemon going. Like I said, I'll probably have a bigger team than usual, which I know is going to take a lot more to take care of and keep them trained up. But I think it could be a lot of fun, you know, once we start going into the deeper stages of this game. But we are back here, so let's see what Professor Jasmine has to say. Hi, Professor Oak. Welcome to my lab. Thanks, Professor Jasmine. Rodri told me I had to come here quickly, so I'm here to learn about your research. Yes, Professor. With Rodri's help, I've been studying ancient writings about the creation of the universe. They said that our seas created the world and all the Pokemon. Incredible! This is actually related to my latest research into Pokemon DNA. It seems all species have the same small trait in common. Yes, Professor. Right now, that's all I know. I'll send you a full document on CD. I like how they're still using CDs. Come on, man. It's called the USB drive. You guys have all this high-tech gadgets. You can put Pokemon into little Pokeballs. You can shrink them, but you guys can't use a USB drive. You're still using CDs. What's going on over here? Good job, Rodri. I registered you in the Z League. Now you can fight the gym leaders and become a powerful trainer. Congratulations. Nick care. Team Steam will still be after you. All right, so another thing that you guys have suggested to me is that there are Pokemon we can add here. Now, I don't know, you know, what Pokemon we're going to fully have in our final team, as I said, but I might as well show us, you know, show us around and show you guys what Pokemon we can get. So you go right up here to the side of the building, and this was a suggestion for you guys. If you look inside the Pokeball, there's an Elekid. So with that, we will go ahead and obtain the Elekid. I don't know if I'll be keeping the Elekid around, but I thought I would at least show you guys where you can obtain one if you're looking for one to add to your team. You know, it is a good Pokemon. It really is a solid electric type, and we can keep on going from here. Now, with that done, we need to make our way back to Central City and see if we can find Professor Oak one more time. As he said, he was heading back to his lab, but you know what? We might as well say goodbye to our mom. Mom, it's been a good journey. You really have no idea how to cook, so I'm not going to miss the food. But uh, I'm going to miss my GameCube a little bit and my nice warm bed. I'm probably going to be sleeping in some weird places, probably in the grass in a couple areas. Take it easy, mother. Let's go ahead and make our way back to Central City then. So what I'm looking for next, guys, is I'm hoping to get the running shoes and a couple repels coming up. So if you guys know when I get those, where I get those, 
make sure to let me know. I think the running boots are one of the most crucial things in this game. If this game doesn't have running boots, it's going to be a lot more stressful and it's going to take us a lot longer to walk around. Maybe we'll get the bike soon. Who knows? We've already obtained a bunch of different items that I didn't expect us to get so soon. So maybe we'll start getting these things, you know, pr fairly quickly. I can be okay with that. Maybe after the first gym. Welcome to Central City's radio and TV tower. All the technology inside. Let's go up the stairs and see if the professor is here then. In this city, there are many buildings that are important throughout the Ziri region. I think they might be right up here. And whoa, those look like Pokedexes. Hey, Rodri, I'm glad you came to my research center. I have a gift for you in gold. It's a national dex, which you can use to find and record data on Pokemon during your journey. We received a national dex! Well, Golden Rodri, now with this tool you can go on a magnificent journey through the Ziri League! Good luck to both of you! Thanks, Professor! I'll be sure to train hard! Goodbye, Rodri! One day, we'll have a great battle! Looking forward to it, Gold! Take it easy! You remind me a lot of myself! Don't know why that could be! Who knows? Really familiar. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. But with that, guys, you can actually talk to Professor Oak one more time. And if you talk to him and keep talking to him, he, he likes to talk a lot. He will offer you one of the three Johto starters. So he'll offer you Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Totodile. And it, like I said, if you guys want these Pokemon on your team, this is where you get them. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get them later on too. I'm assuming Professor Oak will probably just be chilling here. So there's Cyndaquil. I'm actually not going to get any of these Pokemon, but I did want to show them to you guys just so you know where you can get them once the journey gets going. As I said, I still want to build my team with you guys. So let's figure out a really good combination. I'm probably going to lean off a little little bit from the starters you know I want to just stick to Charmander and build a team around him so let's continue you know looking to see what's coming up in the next couple routes I know that there's just gonna be a lot of Pokemon coming up so you know no need to rush it so far hopefully we won't need a bigger team yet but I also don't know how much more difficult it's gonna get because you guys have told me that this journey is going to be one of our tougher ones so maybe I will be you know forced to add a couple Pokemon to our team sooner rather than later but with that guys we're looking pretty good here to finish things up in Central City. Thanks to all of you guys for your amazing tips. Without you guys, I really wouldn't know what the heck I'm doing, and it's amazing to be able to play through such a cool game with you. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you guys give this video a like if you want to see some more. Leave me some comments. Leave me some tips. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.